So I'm currently on Jeju Island, which is south of South Korea. Thought I'd share some of the cool sights with you guys. Trees. I guess I've been thinking about a few things whilst being here and just some advice for everyone regarding guitar playing and music. I think the first thing is don't be afraid to try because thinking about just this channel, it all happened because I just made a video and I tried to do my best at it. And going back to the biggest video on my channel, which is still five types of black metal riffs and how to play them. You know, that's got over half a million views and that was a pretty, let's be real here, it's a pretty shoddy attempt at a video. But the main thing is, is that you just got to try and get something out there. So all the people who are like struggling to write music or afraid to release something or make a video or something, just do it, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen. And even if it is bad, then it's okay. Because even at the beginning, I think people will realize the honesty and the intent. And as long as you don't try to be someone else or fake something or fake a persona, then people can see the authenticity in it. And, you know, even if it is like a really, really bad quality thing and you're just doing whatever you can off a phone camera or a phone or just anything you have, I think people will realize that and they'll realize the situation you're in. They'll see your channel and see you've only got like two videos but if people see progress i guess that's just as powerful as the initial start because a whole bunch of my videos were just done on an old iphone that i used to have and i didn't really have much else at the time to film with so it, i just did what i could you know that first initial step of actually just trying with what you have could really really help you build confidence with pushing on and finding and creating more ideas. So I think that's the hardest part about doing this YouTube guitar stuff is coming up with ideas all the time and trying to find your identity in the YouTube realm because loads of people are doing YouTube. And it's kind of like, what makes you you and what makes you, I guess, stand out? Because I think with this channel, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think what people will like and seem to enjoy is the authenticity where it's just kind of like okay cool we're gonna learn this or this is this this is that and just keeping it real keeping it chill but also informative at the same time and i guess in some ways learning is entertaining for some people for some people it's really boring and i could totally understand that um because i have quite a short attention span and you know watching some tutorial videos can be difficult so I do really try my best to keep them somewhat engaging and not too boring, I guess. But it's also hard, admittedly, to come up with new ideas and learning new songs and trying to cater to everyone. I guess this is a good time to talk about black metal mastery as well, because a lot of people are still having issues with their technique. And black metal mastery is a course designed to build technique and really savage playing for black metal because it caters to the people who are looking to really expand on their technique and their playing. And it's even good for beginners as well, because it starts off at a approachable level. So it's a different challenge on every episode. Now the course in total is only one hour long, but the cool thing is you can go to it whenever you want to. If you want to do like two lessons a week, you can do that. If you want to do one lesson a week or one lesson a month, then that's totally fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It all depends on how much free time you have to play guitar and the pace you want to learn. So if you are a beginner or if you are worried about the music theory, like it, the course does not go into music theory on a deep level. It just teaches you enough so that you can build your technique and see massive, massive improvements because the first lesson is all about making sure your technique is perfect and also applying it in a fairly approachable riff. And Udemy is really cool because it allows you to access the course whenever you want and there's always discounts. And of course, I'm always looking for more ways to try and expand the channel. You know, I'm always trying to find new ideas, new things to experiment with, new, new gear to try. Because my aim with every video is that you guys will learn something in every single video. 
because at the core of this channel it's a learning hub it's not a place for like silly memes or jokey videos or bullshit content that's just going to entertain someone for two minutes it's more about longevity i guess so that's one of the cons of the channel that it focuses more on learning as opposed to entertainment because at the heart this channel is educational and that's what i want to stick to where people can get value and that's what i want to stick to i want to stick to a i want to stick to the values of this channel and the ethos where everyone has to learn something or has to be informed or they find something new or there is a new piece of information that they learn because learning is so much more powerful than watching a two minute entertaining video about like silly memes even though they're fun it's like we've got to think like what's real long-term value here this bridge is wafty as hell <laughs> it's kind of cool though there will be more gear reviews and please let me know what you want to see on the channel because there's going to be an idea or a point that one of you guys makes that I'm missing. You know, I'm in some ways at the mercy of my subscribers, which is a bit of a dramatic thing, but it's, it's what happens. It's like you're a teacher. Your main goal was to help your students because this is the thing. We've got to inspire the next generation of guitar players not even just black metal guitar players just guitar players in general we've got to teach them the right things and how to inspire them and how to play properly and create the best resources possible because there's always going to be something new and there's always going to be new ideas and you can't have new ideas and revolutions with old thinking it doesn't work that way so we've got to think towards the future and what's going to change and what people want I guess and I guess we could finish on this note where always find ways to improve always find ways to try new things and push yourself and explore take the time away from things because sometimes being away from things can help you see the bigger picture more clearly